Ian, you've been playing some games. Tell us about Redfall. Yeah, I kind of got the bum deal here because I ended up playing Redfall while Rick got to play the new Legend of Zelda game and he definitely got the better bargain there. Um, Redfall, I mentioned it a little bit earlier. It's it's a game that when it was first announced, it looked like it could and probably should be awesome. And it it isn't. Uh, and with that comes a lot of criticism, some of it very justifiably so, a lot of it a little bit harsh. Um, but it's still a good game in there somewhere. But um, I mean, the reviews up on the website, you see I gave it a five out of 10. And that's more because of what's wrong with it than what's right with it. Um, it's just not a game you'd necessarily want to pay £70 for. But the good news is it's on Game Pass. So if you subscribe to that, uh, you can give it a give it a look. Um, just to basically set it up for people who haven't uh, seen or heard much about it. Uh, set in a picturesque American coastal town, gets taken over by vampires and their cult-like human followers. As, it's not wimpy, is it? So often the case. <laughs> no, no somebody had already claimed that one, apparently. <laughs> or stake, stake the claim, you could say. I don't know. Oh. Um, and uh, yeah, basically, you can either play it solo or you can play with up to three friends in co-op to go and clean up the town. Uh, one of the downsides of it is if you do want to play in co-op, there's no matchmaking. So you really do have to find three friends to play with uh, and plan ahead if you want to get a full squad together. Um, but on the plus side, the good things about it and what makes it possibly worth playing is that the foundations of a good shooter are all there. Gives you a decent free roaming map to go and explore, loads of collectibles, there's things like safe houses to unlock with little side missions to help free up the neighborhood. So you can, you got the incremental yay on doing stuff and feeling good about it. Um, there's a few fun weapons thrown in to help take down the vampires. And certainly for at least the first few hours, it's, it, it's quite a lot of fun. There's a lot to kind of enjoy about it. But and there is a very, very and a long list of buts about this. That is about as good as it gets for me. Um, it doesn't really go anywhere after that. You end up doing a lot of the same fetch and kill quests. The weapons only level up when you do, so they just get better when you get better and the enemies get better, so you don't really feel that kick of getting a super cool new gun and being able to do amazing things. It's just kind of the same old, same old through to the end, except for the occasional boss fight to, to liven things up a little bit. Um, so it just kind of gets a little bit tiring you realize that the vampires that start off being quite scary aren't really at all and you just get used to kind of chopping them down like fodder human artificial intelligence is i mean that's kind of an oxymoron in itself because they are you know dumb as the proverbial bag of spanish for the most of the game and the game has just got a lot of bugs and glitches in it which for me i mean it's locked at 30 fps which was an issue for a lot of people as well but for me there's nothing in there that's fundamentally groundbreaking it's more that there's a lot of little things that are annoying and kind of impede your enjoyment so it's a game that i played i wouldn't say i necessarily enjoyed it but i didn't hate it because of all that's wrong with it if that makes sense so yeah it's not as bad as some people are making out but it's not exactly a ring of endorsement for microsoft's xbox exclusive titles as well because it is some pc uh and xbox series x exclusive title for them especially when you compare it to the likes of sony's god of war ragnarok which came out a little while ago and was amazing Tears of the Kingdom on Switch, which I just mentioned, that's amazing as well. So there's some big games on other consoles. So for Microsoft uh, and Xbox, it's it's not really a great endorsement for them. But like I say, it's up on Games Pass. So even if you're remotely curious, no harm in taking a look, but just keep your expectations low to avoid disappointment. 